Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today what I want to take a look at is HomeKit and in particular the no response or not responding message that you actually get when trying to activate maybe certain scenes or trying to connect to certain devices and in particular how it relates to tvOS 14. So I've recently updated to tvOS 14.2 um, if we just come in general about as you can see from just there I'm currently running tvOS 14.2 and the biggest features of this is obviously to bring home HomePod and HomePod mini support as well as a couple of the features um, to the Apple TV. However, one thing that I did notice was I was getting a lot more instances of not responding. So a lot of my sort of uh, devices were either not updating fully or basically just all requiring me to power cycle devices. Um, maybe switching Wi-Fi on and off before things would actually start to respond. And I actually figured out that the main reason for this possibly could be something in relation to tvOS. So what I'll do is I'll put on screen what I was actually getting in terms of what you're looking for. And basically what it comes down to is within your home, you need a home hub if things are going to work fast. The Apple TV as well as iPads and HomePods actually function as home hubs. So basically they interpret the signal that you're sending from whichever device, be it Siri, be it um, through your watch, through your phone, through your TV, whatever it may be. So it takes that command from whichever device you're using and basically sends it to the connected device. Now in tvOS, if we come back into the main settings, if we come down to AirPlay and HomeKit, what you'll notice is currently this actually says connected and that's what you wanna see. Now, what I actually noticed was after updating, I was actually getting it to say standby on all of my devices. So I have a, an iPad Air, first gen, and I have two Apple TV 4Ks. Now, what I ideally I wanna see is for at least one of those to stay stay connected. So it should say connected all the time. The living room one that I've got, generally that's used more. So generally that's the one that will actually say connected. Whereas currently, obviously, because this one's on and the other one isn't, you can see that this one actually says connected on it. Now, just because it says connected here doesn't necessarily mean that it will actually be in use. So when you actually go into your phone uh, settings, so if you go to the home app, and then you go to home settings, and then you go down to hubs. If you click into there, it'll actually tell you which ones you've got on standby and which ones are actually really connected. And what I was finding was since I've updated to uh, tvOS 14.2 and all my devices have also been updated to, well, they're currently running iOS 14.2.1 for the 12 Pro Maxes. What I was finding was even though these say connected, so it'll either say disabled or it'll say connected. Even though it says connected here, in the home settings, they were all actually showing as standby. So basically what, what was happening was for some reason, none of the devices were actually being switched on and, and actually utilized. And you can usually tell this because what you'll find is if you toggle Wi-Fi on and off, usually any sort of little niggles that you have will, will be fixed by that. If that's not happening, then it's probably gonna be one of these settings. So more than likely this will still say connected, but it won't actually be functioning. So when you go into the home app on your phone, you'll actually see that it says disconnected or it'll either say standby. More than likely it'll just say standby. If that's the case, then what you wanna do is just toggle this. So disable it, re-enable it, and then you wanna come down to system and you wanna actually restart from here. Don't hit reset by mistake, um, but do a restart. Once you've done a restart, when you then come back into it, that should have then fixed it and you should have at least one of your devices functioning as a home hub again. And then what you will probably find is everything is working super fast again. So whenever I'm connecting to any of my smart items, so bulbs, switches, anything like that from any of my smart devices, so my Apple Watch, my phone, through my TV, what I'll find is the response time is generally less than a second. The watch is the only exception. The watch generally can take a little bit longer, but even that right now, once I've done this sort of fix where I've disabled, re-enabled them all, restarted all the devices, since then I've not actually had any issues. What I was actually finding was I was actually having issues with this, 
the thermostat in the bottom right of the picture just there um, and it was the first time I'd ever experienced that with this I actually made a video on that particular device um, it will be linked on the on the channel under the home kits playlist in that video I actually commented about the fact that 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 device just simply works it never has a problem that's why I love it so much and recently since I actually updated to 14.2 I noticed that sometimes the scenes would work so if I set it to 22.5 it will, it will click on but other times it will basically just give me a no response until I basically moved around the house and maybe connected to a different uh, Wi-Fi repeater because I have the Orbi system. So first I was thinking it was something to do with that. It wasn't until I actually went into the home settings and I actually realized that all three of my home hubs were actually showing as standby. So hopefully this video might help some of you guys out there. If it has then it'd be great if you could drop a like down below. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any new videos. Other than that, thank you very much for watching.